evaluate double integral over r x minus y dx dy where r is the region bounded by the line y equal to x and the parabola y equal to x square. So here we have to evaluate the integral where r is the region bounded by line and parabola. Okay, so now the given uh, line and parabola are uh, you can draw the equation, draw the diagram y axis x axis the given parabola y equal to x square it is a u shape this is y equal to x square parabola y equal to x square and now the straight line y equal to x, it is passing through origin. So this is y equal to x. y equal to x. And now here, the point of intersection here and here. To find the point of intersection, we have to solve these two equations. So what is the equation here? y equal to x another one y equal to x square so the both are y so equating these two x square equal to x when you take x outside take x here x minus 1 equal to 0 so that x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 so there are two values for x so that the line and the parabola intersect at two places one at x equal to 0, another one x is equal to 1. So here x is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1 here, y also 1. y also 1. When x equal to 0, y also 0. So that 0, 0, 1, 1. So now the point of intersection is 0, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. And now here I am going to put a strip. Either horizontal strip or vertical strip. Most of the problem I am going to use, I am always use, going to use only vertical step. Because if you put vertical step, the integration, final integral variable function in terms of x. So we are all, always familiar with integral with respect to x only. So that I am choosing only vertical step. Okay, now if you put vertical step, y is the variable limit, obviously x is constant. So put vertical step. Okay, so if you put vertical step, the limit for the region, x limit and y limit. It is vertical step, so that y is a variable limit. So obviously, x is a constant. x is a constant limit means it is 0 to 1. So that limit for x is 0 to 1. Another one, y is a variable limit the strip starts from the parabola and end with the straight line. So from the parabola, what is y? It is x square. Two, the strip end with the straight line. From the straight line, y is equal to x. So this is the limit. For the vertical strip, this is the limit for the region. So now we are going to evaluate the given integral using this limit. Okay. So, what is the given limit? The given, sorry, what is the given integral? Double integral over r x minus y into dx dy. But you see, the limit, y limit is a variable, so that the first integral with respect to y, so that we have to interchange. So, double integral over 0 to 1, y limit x square to x x minus y into first integral is y so that dy and dx so now the first integral with respect to y so that I am going to integrating with respect to y here so integral integral 0 to 1 so integration of x minus y with respect to y so x integral with respect to y is xy minus integration of y is y square by 2 with the limit the limit for y is x square to x so x square to x 
into dx. Okay, now the first integral, first limit, upper limit, substituting the upper limit first, wherever y, substitute x, so x into x, x square, minus substitute x here, x square by 2, upper limit over, minus the lower limit, put x square, x square into x, x cube, minus put x square here, x square of square, x power 4 by 2, so lower limit also over into dx. Okay, now I am going to simplify. The simplification part, integral 0 to 1, so this is multiply 2 here, 2x square minus x square, x square by 2, multiply minus inside, minus x cube, multiply minus inside, minus of minus plus x power 4 by 2, and dx. So now I am going to integrate with respect to x. So x square integral x cube by 3, 3 to 6, minus x cube integral x power 4 by 4, plus x power 4 integral x power 5 by 5, 5 to 10, and limit 0 to 1. Substituting the limit, upper limit first, so 1 by 6, minus 1 by 4, plus 1 by 10, upper limit over, minus lower limit 0, so that's simply 0. So now I am going to take LCM, so now the simplification part, what is the LCM of this? Uh, we can take, you see LCM 6, 4, 10. LCM 6, 4, 10. 2. 3, 2, sir, 6. 2, 2, sir, 4. 5, 2, sir, 10. 3. 1, 3, sir, 3. 2, 5. 2. 1, 5. Next to 5. 1, 1, 1. So what is the LCM? 5, 2, sir, 10. 3, 2, sir, 6. So 60 is there. LCM. So now take LCM 60 so that multiply by 10 numerator 60 means so we have 15. 15 into 4 60. So that multiply 15 here 6. So simplify this is 10 minus 5. Minus 5 means 1 by 60. Okay. So this is the answer of the problem.